The Quality Score Tracker is one of several data insight tools that we have available in Optimizer. It helps you analyze what's happening with your quality score and gives you suggestions for how to improve it. This tool has several areas. Let me point them all out to you. First of all, we do an aggregation of the quality score up to the account, campaign, and ad group level. Note that quality score is only available at the keyword level in AdWords. What we do is we do an impression weighted average to tell you what the score is at the higher levels. Now we also save all of the quality scores on a daily basis. As a result, you can see charts like this one, where we tell you the quality score every single day, and we can compare it to a secondary metric, in this case, average CPC. This gives us capabilities like this one. Here, Google announced the quality score algorithm change. This was around the end of July, 2015. We can see how this impacted us because we've been saving historical quality score. So we can see the day before the change, the quality score was roughly an 8.1, and afterwards it was roughly a 6.8. So that was the impact of this change. And then we can even see over time how the quality score bounces up and down slightly, and then maybe takes a little bit more of a dip here at the beginning of September. We also analyze this data a few other ways. We show you, first of all, the beginning and ending quality score over the selected date range, as well as the highest and lowest scores we recorded for you. We tell you what percentage of your impressions have good or very good ad text relevance. This is one of the subcomponents of quality score. We also tell you how many keywords existed at each quality score level before and at the end of the period. So this is at the start of the range. We had 507 keywords with a quality score of six. And at the end of the selected date range, we had 1,503 keywords with a quality score of six. So a big jump in number six and a big decline here in quality score 10 keywords. Now we can also take a look at the individual level. So rather than looking at the account, we can look at the campaign level. And here we have all of our campaigns with data like the recent quality score, the quality score at the beginning of the date range, the change over that period, the high and low, the keyword ad relevance score, and then some of the other metrics that you're typically used to seeing in AdWords. This can help you identify those elements that have had the biggest change either up or down for further evaluation. So this exists at the campaign level, as well as at the ad group level, as well as at the keyword level. These views can be very nice to help you find elements of your account that have changed dramatically over a set period of time. So for example, here we can take a look at keywords and which ones have had the biggest quality score change either down or the biggest quality score change up. When something had a quality score of zero, that means there were no impressions for that keyword in this case at the start of the period, and then it went up and it started getting impressions at a quality score of an eight. You can then figure out, even for these keywords, how the quality score has changed. So by clicking on any element, whether it's an ad group, a campaign, or a keyword, we'll give you deeper data about that certain element. So for this particular keyword, you can see that it was added at some point during the date range that you're looking at. When it was added, it got a quality score of nine. Then on the July 27th, it dropped to a quality score of a six. And then more recently, it's come up to a quality score of eight. And this is interesting because Google now says that new keywords by default get a quality score of six. And that actually happened on this date. So before that, Google was estimating this would have been a really good keyword with a quality score of nine. When they made the change in reporting, they said it's we don't have enough data, therefore it's going to be a quality score of six. And then as you can notice here, some data started accruing. And once Google had enough information, they decided that the actual quality score for this keyword should have been an eight. And that's where it's at right now. So through these types of visualizations, you can better understand what's happening with quality score, or what components of your account you should pay attention to for optimization, and generally improve your quality score. There's one more view that I'd like to point out, and that's the top movers. If you do this from the account level, you will see the top campaigns, ad groups, and keywords that have had big changes. So rather than having to, to go to the individual tabs, you can see them all together right here, and that can help you explore the parts of your account that are most in need of your attention.